it's not about optimism or like uh, pessimism. pessimism. No, it's not about this. As also, it's not about conclusions and uh, answers. It's it's all about ideas, unfinished works, mm -hmm. things that still need mm -hmm. the spectator, need the audience uh, to to complete it. Mm -hmm. It will not be completed, but to add to it. So, so nice to be here with you, no? For your exhibition. Thank you. Um, you've been active for so many years in the performing arts and visual arts, and you built an amazing oeuvre. And I think it's the first time now in Belgium uh, you have a solo exhibition, right? That's uh, right, yeah. Maybe as a starting point, uh, you can tell me a bit how the exhibition came about. Image Mon Amour. Yeah, Image Mon Amour. As you see, the space is not easy and it has like an identity, it's like mm -hmm. a church. So from, from the beginning, I like, uh, I was challenged, like, uh, how, how I deal with something religious. Because like, I came from, from a country mm -hmm. uh, where we had like uh, civil wars and, uh, and religiously, like, there was like conflicts. So for me, like, also someone who's atheist, I don't like to deal with religion. So, of course, like the first reaction, it was like, I want to, to attack, like uh, mm -hmm. to do something against it. But then I decided maybe not, I have to just to be with the space. My point was like, I don't want to change the, uh, the church, the space. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't want also this, the church to change me. So just like how we can accept each other. The first uh, work, no, when we enter, again we are defeated. Um, it sets the tone. So we enter with these images of defeat and death bodies, the silhouettes of death bodies, but with drones hovering over the uh, bodies. And, it, and what struck me, and I think it's also connected to another work, as if seen by a bird standing on the top of a cow, no? Watching against, no? The drones that are watching us, no? Like mm -hmm. having like the gaze of the drones, but looking back at the drones. And so this juxtaposition also is really present in your work, no? Like the, from one angle you see really like the embodiment of the defeat. Mm -hmm. And on the other side you see the, the technological distant gaze of, you know, the the victors, no? mm -hmm. somehow. So again, we are defeated. It means that again, we will try, we will try, even if we know that we will be defeated, but we will try. So the hope never dies. Of course, like there are like 112 uh, drawings of different corpse or like different killed person. Because like I came from from a region where like, where all the killed people, most of them, no, no justice. It's always cases that are unclosed. It's like, of course, like the authority want to, to hide there because they are engaged in, this, uh, in these crimes and in this war. So the, the image started like, when they take the, the dead body to bury it, to hide it, whatever they do, they always forgot the shadow and the shadow stays. So there is a trace and I'm trying mm -hmm. to, to draw this. Uh, and the drone, like, of course, like it is mm -hmm. the first impression that you see, like from far before, you know that this is, these are drones because they are like, they have the size of flies. It reminds of like massacres mm -hmm. and there are like flies flying over them. Uh, but then you see like there are drones. And also then you go to this as if seen uh, by a bird sitting on the top of a cow. Now the bird is on the, on the floor, like looking upside. So it's like just flipping the gaze from looking down to looking up. And, but mm -hmm. it's like as if like the, you flip also the land, so the sky is down, and the, the, the ground and the destroyed, mm -hmm. the ruins are up our, our uh, heads, like, our sky is a ruin. 
it's always like uh, a question about representation. When you do art, like when you want to represent mm -hmm. a massacre, the question is not how many actually, mm -hmm. how you do it. I walked through a diary of a, a, yeah, yeah. of a leap year and then suddenly it struck me how I was moving uh, to see the images and I stood still and it, it takes you into, really into the exhibition but also into the movement of uh, fugitivity, you know, of the fleeing mm -hmm. of uh, this devastation, the fleeing uh, right. uh, of war. This is like something that like obsessed me uh, since many years, like how like we we always like trying to to run away from our realities, which is like uh, dominated by main, by conflicts constantly, uh, wars uh, and uh, and uh, violence, uh, etc. So like all people like try to to, to escape to. Mm -hmm. to uh, to run away to to maybe have like a better life like or like a peaceful life but like i see like it's in vain like we are running all the time but we are stuck in the same place like or in the same uh, like in the, in the ruins itself like we cannot run away from the, from our reality as if it's mm -hmm. like impossible so you see like the the other life like or the life that you would like to have too close, mm -hmm. very close, but it's unaccessible. This is like also one of the titles of the work, like too close yet uh, unaccessible. If I want to talk about the work uh, Image Mon Amour, the mm -hmm. collages, it is this idea where like there's uh, people all the time ready to leave. They have luggages, they, they want to go migrate, uh, leave, but there is no way to go. They are in the ruins. And all the, the transportation, the means of transportation, like mm -hmm. ships, planes, uh, trains, whatever, they are like in a way there, but they are broken. So also the, you cannot use them. This endless scroll of rubble and fleeing images Somehow it reminds me also as well on the, you know, the endless scroll. scrolling. Scroll. Yeah, of course, it it came from here the idea mainly from the, from our cell phones like uh, the smartphones, mm -hmm. where we always like scroll for for the news, for the images, for, but it goes and goes and then this is the same idea, with uh, image mon amour it gives you this feeling that it goes, forever, forever. Okay. which is also like the same idea also like of these. The violence, uh, the violent images mm -hmm. and the images of wars and catastrophes that invading our eyes and our minds every day a lot and we cannot run away from them. So it's like how we can mm -hmm. digest this, how we can deal with it, how we can continue our life while like having these images. It reminds me of I versus I. You know, this endless spiral between, you know, the image of the victim that is filming the shot and you render with the same gesture, you humanize the victim and you, you start an investigation on the perpetrator. Mm -hmm. Like also, again, an endless loop and a, a suspension. You know? and it's a suspension, yeah. It's like waiting for the shot uh, to happen, but you know the shot will come, will come someday. At some point. Yeah. At some point. But and, and the idea, like, it came because, like, when you see these videos, when the, the killer and the, the protester having this eye contact and between them this, this the tiny screen, we can sense, we can feel the fall of the, of the body of the protester because he was shot. But we don't see the corpse, we don't see the face, we don't see the victim, we don't see blood. Violence in the classical way, like, or like, yeah, like, it's, it's a cut. But the it's violence a... is in our head, like when we imagine what might happen to the protester when he was shot, like, it's unbearable. Uh, and the idea is, was like, 
why like the victims are not in the image and how can we bring them but bring them not in the Hollywood uh, way no it should be in the shot itself since there is an eye contact so if we if we blow up the eye of of the killer then we will see the reflection of the victim in, in his eye in the eye of the killer so the, the the killers they have all their victims in their eyes they will they cannot hide it